Hey guys, it's you. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video, and today I'm playing Go Cubbies 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, during uh, my game with the return of Springer 777, David Gunn was messaging me. This is him. We're about to play it. Looks like we're playing at Fenway Park. So an AL ballpark. I'm a fan of that. I have Dallas Keuchel on the mound. Uh, there's my opponent's lineup. A couple weak spots, but uh, not that bad of a team. Altuve leading things off. I'll take the curveball up and in for strike one. I was thinking about looking for, or sorry, looking if I should put in my new D Gordon. I'll check on that a little later. But I am keeping for now from that War Pack opening that D Gordon card, and I'll see how he fits into my plans. And there we go, Will Myers, second batter of the game, crushed off the Green Monster. Maybe would have had second, but it's a quick throw in, so it's probably best to hold him up at first. And Buxton. I'm getting very hittable pitches. And I now I'm at first and third with one out. Aaron Judge at the plate. Judge in a very bad mood. But he will drive the run in. With the ground out. Now two away. 1-0 and a runner on second. Nolan Arenado up to bat. And Altuve with the diving catch to Rob Arenado of what likely would have been an RBI single. Headed to the bottom of the sixth, up 1-0. My opponent, Go Cubbies, has not had a chance to bat yet, though. And his first three batters are all in poor moods. Altuve, first pitch, lines out to Altuve. Now facing Dexter Fowler. I'd be surprised if he was not from the war package. Oh, I'm on catcher's lead. I'll have to change off of that. Definitely a thumb slip. I mean, it didn't really... It actually worked out okay. But I like to call my own pitches. Boom, cutter up and in. And maybe I should have followed the catcher's lead because that's a single two center with one out. Keuchel in a neutral mood, so no huge boost, but no huge deterrence. This is your base. What I think he's a plus three uh, with equipment and leveled up. April, the stars, Dallas, Keuchel. And the Twitter notifications, boom, two outs. That ball is off the wall. He's going to go for home, and let's get him in third. So I get out of the jam. Two hits, but no runs. The runner caught between third and home. I'm going to say he was thrown out at home, trying to stretch it, because that's basically what happened. And now, 1-0, top of seven. And a weak grounder. A little bit impatient on my end, but certainly not a bad pitch. By Go Cubbies to get out number one. And now Eric Thames up. And Bryant with a diving catch at third. Now two away. I'm okay with that at bat. Yadier Molina, neutral mood. Very strong arm catcher. Blasts it to center, but it's short. It's caught by Fowler. And that's a very quick one, two, three. Top of the seventh. Now I get to face Albert Pujols to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Fooled with the slider. Bring the two seam that cuts away. 0-2 count. Let's bury the change up low and watch this somehow get blasted for like a home run. Or a strikeout. I've seen that hit for a home run so many times I don't understand it. I'm, I'm honestly just 
glad it wasn't hit for a home run. And now with one out facing Chris Bryant, it's all about mixing up location. Boom, fouled off. And now I'm going to set up outside and have it go more outside. And I got him to swing through it for strike three. Now two outs in the inning. The idea with that pitch is normally, like, I'll here, I'll do what I was what I normally do here, where I set up outside and it comes over the plate, right? And boom, hit for a long single. Thrown out trying to stretch to a double to end the seventh, right? But that's what I normally do. So if I throw it and it curves more outside, odds are my opponents lined up to hit that pitch coming on the edge of the strike zone. Hard to predict, and thus an easy out. And Segura, first pitch, hits a fly ball to center, but it does not get to the wall, so Fowler is there to catch it. Altuve up now. There's my D. Gordon. You know what? I'm going to use this D. Gordon. I want to give him a debut. He bats lefty. It's one of those things I forgot, but it's... I don't know. He looks so much different than El Tuve. And a weak ground out to third. But dang, 117 speed. That's why I'm building him up. All that speed. Myers with two outs fouls it off. I've had very hittable pitches. I feel like my offense is slightly underperformed. As I ground out for an number three. The reason I say that, uh, look, in terms of should I have more than one run? Probably not. I feel like it has a little more patient, a little more focus. I'd at least have a couple more hits, though. But certainly, my pitching has held very well so far. Keichel. O2 count. Boom. Line out two Myers at first for out number one. Now facing Leonis Martin. Strike one. And the grounder to Gordon, the new second baseman, who is stronger defensively. So now two outs and... Altuve at the plate. Last time he lined out to Altuve this time, he'd be lining out to D-Garden, or he's going to hit one deep off the wall. Judge with the strong arm. I think Altuve would add second, but my opponent, Go Cubbies, does hold Altuve at first. So now a runner on first and two outs. Uh, Dexter Fowler fouls that pitch off. Cutter in, jams him, pop up to Segura, the shortstop for out number three. Headed to the top of the ninth, my last chance with the bats, and currently up 1-0. And Buxton flies out to right. I was okay with that swing because I I liked that content, or sorry, contact that I had just didn't go anywhere. Now with Judge up, that was a good take. Um, tough take there on the change up, but you know, just trying to show a little more patience. All right, following it off, 1-2 count now. Certainly the position to be aggressive in, and wow, I struck out. That's on me. Two outs now, Nolan Arenado up to bat. And there we go, a single with two outs, low risk. Might as well try to get the runner on base. I will keep Arenado in the game, even though he is a slower player for his defense. And then grounder to Brian at third for the third out. So we head to the bottom of the ninth of a 1-0 game. Definitely, uh, I mean, three outs left. This is going to be... 
crunch time, though. Josh Harrison into the game. I'm going to go... I'm going to put in Tommy Hunter. Because I don't really like him, but he has good velocity. It gives the righty-righty matchup. Um... So for a specific matchup, it works out well. 0-2 count. I do have the curveball at my disposal. I'm going to make it so there's little to no way to hit it. There we go. Hit weakly to the pitcher for out number one. Aaron Judge up to bat now. This might be risky to keep Hunter in. Probably should go to a lefty. Yeah, a, a weak single, but still a single. With one out, a runner on base now. We're going to a lefty now. All my lefties not in great moods, but I'll bring in Shane Green. He has all kinds of uh, breaking balls. Well, not all kinds, but he's got four different ones. There we go. Turn it. And the 4-6-3 double play. Clinches 1-0 win. A very well-pitched game. Great game to my opponent. Go Cubbies. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you enjoy it, leave a like. If you're new around here, I encourage you to subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning Live content. If you want to play me, uh, what I'm doing every Monday and Friday is... I'll post a video of head-to-head -head against a subscriber. Most of the time, it will be a full-length game. It might be highlights depending on how the game ends. Um, yeah, so just comment your username. We'll do first come, first serve. Play everybody once. You know, once I'm running out of new opponents, then we can do rematches. Uh, if there's like a really good battle that should have a rematch, I could do a special rematch video here and there too yeah that's about it for this video guys mg hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and until next time and as always peace out